President Donald Trump's talk of commuting former Governor Rob Blagojevich's sentence continues tonight, this time by tweet. CBS News' Dana Kozlov is in the newsroom, but Dana, the president seems to be backing off the immediacy. And that's one way to read it. Just 24 hours ago, Brad, the president said he was thinking about commuting Blagojevich's sentence, quote, very strongly. Tonight, it's under review again. Here it is, President Donald Trump's latest commutation chatter in the form of this tweet. Rod Blagojevich, the former governor of Illinois, was sentenced to 14 years in prison. He has served seven years. Many people have asked that I study the possibility of commuting his sentence in that it was a very severe one. White House staff is continuing the review of this matter. I do think he's serious. Says CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller, but compared to his Air Force One talk just a day ago. I think it's enough, seven years. The president seems to have lost some of his punch about the issue. Robert Grant, who headed Chicago's FBI office when Blagojevich was arrested, doesn't think the ex-governor should walk free. I think Rod Blagojevich has to accept responsibility before anybody should even consider a commutation of sentence. A spokesperson for Blagojevich and his wife Patty says they've seen President Trump's latest. They aren't commenting, nor have they heard anything directly from the White House. The president reignited the commutation consideration the same week in which he offered prayers to those in Toledo instead of Dayton, Ohio, after a mass shooting there, and after his daughter Ivanka tweeted incorrect information about Chicago's weekend shootings. It also comes 15 months after after his first mention of setting Blagojevich free. If it does happen now, Irv Miller says Blagojevich could be out in hours. If he goes by his track record, I would say that he's going to commute the sentence immediately and uh, have uh, Blagojevich walk out the door of the penitentiary. And tonight, five Illinois congressmen are pushing back. They're on record urging the president issue the com not issue the commutation. The Blagojevich's spokesperson says the ex-governor doesn't plan to say anything until he's home in Chicago. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Brad. Dana, thank you. We did some checking since President Trump took office. He has granted six commutations, lessening people's sentences. He's also pardoned 15 people, exonerating them of their crimes.